The biggest ship in the world has big responsibilities. Emma Maersk has only two weeks to sail across the globe with a half a billion dollar cargo. She will sail through dangerous seas. It's one of the busiest ports on the planet, Tanjung Palapas in Malaysia. It's the loading point for millions of containers a year from Asia, bound for Europe and North America. They carry everything from TVs to T-shirts, frozen fish to footwear, cameras to cosmetics. Today is a very heavy operation. We have uh, seven vessels uh, on berth. Uh, and uh, approximately we are doing about uh, 10,000 containers. 397 meters long, 20 stories tall. Emma dwarfs everything around her. She can carry a whopping 12,000 containers. A freight train with a load this big would have to be 70 kilometers long. All on one mighty state-of-the-art ship. Her unique silhouette is all boat. A sleek hull, a soaring superstructure amidships. She's clearly built for one purpose, to move enormous amounts of cargo as quickly as possible. Without those big boxes, Emma is an empty warehouse with a for lease sign in the window. In just three hours, she has to be loaded and gone. Today we have about uh, 2,000 uh, loading and 450 discharge. And the challenge will be that we need to sail out this vessel uh, as soon as possible. She's got just 13 days to reach Spain, 13,000 kilometers away. In the boxes is half a billion dollars worth of cargo, and delivering it late is not an option. Like giant spiders, six gantry cranes tirelessly load containers onto Emma. Each one weighs over five tons. And the best crane operators can load 30 an hour, looking down from their perch 60 meters above the ground. Each crane has a manager who confirms that the right containers are being loaded onto the right ship. It's vital that every container is placed properly. On board Emma, that's the job of ship's officers Ramos Galeatos and Niels Larsen. In the front, we have the most dangerous cargo. That would be acids, uh, flammable. If we have fireworks, class 1.4 G, all the way to the aft so that if we have a potential uh, risk on the vessel, it will be as far away from the living quarters, accommodation, and above all, the main engines. Dangerous cargo at the bow. High maintenance refrigerated cargo closer to the superstructure. Weather prone containers packed with expensive electronics below deck. A shift could mean catastrophe. So every box must be placed and then properly secured to guarantee stability, especially if they run into a typhoon. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Eight stories up on the world's widest bridge, First Officer Galeatos weighs all the factors that could delay Emma. Right now, it's monsoon season, so he and the captain have to plan the voyage carefully. The night has come and gone. It's been 24 hours since Emma Maersk left Malaysia. The pirates in the Strait of Malacca stayed away from the massive ship. Now, she changes course and heads west into the vast Indian Ocean. Just five degrees north of the equator, the weather is hot, humid, and unpredictable. Captain Sonicson is all too aware that Mother Nature is his biggest challenge. Okay, what uh, are you calling very rough? Uh, there must be some swell up there. Uh, yeah, sir. Emma is totally exposed to extreme conditions that could wreak havoc on her cargo. Right now, the scorching tropical sun is her biggest enemy. Emma's most delicate cargo, perishable food, is packed in refrigerated containers called reefers. If they lose power, their contents could spoil within hours. The cold containers are safe, and the generators are still pumping power throughout the ship. 
especially the galley, where dinner is just about to be served. For the appetizer, and then we'll have um, Jan Muller has been a chief steward for 25 years and knows what it takes to feed a hungry crew. The kitchen is one of the most uh, important uh, on the ship. If you have a lousy cook and lousy food, then um, the ship is not running proper. Today, Jan and his crew are preparing a special meal. It's Saturday, the symbolic end of the work week, even though there's no such thing as a day off at sea. Working on a ship is a real full-time job. Eight weeks on, eight weeks off. It's been 14 days and 13,000 kilometers since she left Malaysia. The giant gantry cranes waste no time. They've got to unload 2,000 of Emma's 12,000 containers. She's due to leave port in 14 hours. The ship's crew takes a short break while the crane crews do their job.